happens. All right, we're going to be working with one of my new signs tonight. And I'm kind of hoping my granddaughter pops on. She loves unicorns. This one is Follow Your Dreams. We're going to be doing um, a pancake style wreath. So I've got 16 ties on here. I've cut, I know, I've cut the um, mesh. We're going to be doing the woodland ruffle that was created by Millie Mill, the pancake style, I mean. Um, these were cut at 20 inches. So we're going to do purple all around the bottom. Then around the top, I have this like ombre like uh, mesh. Okay, and then I also have the uh, snowball mesh that's going to go on top of those layers just to give it a little whimsy. What state do you live in, Connie? We're in Pennsylvania, and they just shut more stuff down today. You only see one other person on, or... Because I'm showing 11 right now, 12. So, I can't find my pearly weights. I don't know what I did with them. I'll just use my scissors. My big scissors. All right. So, with this, we're just going to gather it up put it in our tinsel tie. Yep, they just shut us down. Well, we're, the schools are shut down, but um, they're closing the liquor stores, the schools are closed, um, restaurants can stay open, but only take out. So, and next they're talking, well, they did say tonight, gyms, hairdressers. I told my hairdresser, please don't shut down. Please, please, not till after Thursday. I had to reschedule an appointment due to surgery this past week, and my hair is going crazy. All right, so I'm putting that in there, and then I'm going to put, hi, Tammy. Your little girl's doing good. I didn't get her bed made. I'm going to do it tomorrow, and she'll start sleeping by herself. It has been just absolutely insane here. And I hope there's no problem with you getting here on, on Friday. Hi, Sandy. We're doing a pancake sour wreath, and I've cut the 10-inch mesh at 20 inches to do the woodland ruffle and on top of the purple i'm adding a 10 inch piece of snowball mesh because i just want it to look whimsical hi brenda boy i'm missing you girl So with the woodland ruffle and the pancake style here, you want to make sure you cross over both ends like that. And then also you want to go under and turn it under. Okay. What's your favorite, Sandy? been people are buying dog food like crazy it's been busy I placed a special order because I'm running out so I'm hoping people will be allowed hi Ellen welcome where are you watching from hi Ian what's it like in your neck of the woods they're shutting us down oh pancake yeah well, up here in the north, it does really well as far as 
you know, fitting between a screen door and a regular door. So it's, people like it here. Southern California. How are you faring out there, Ellen? They shut things down there too. How's my boys, Brenda? I'm missing them. I had a Toby go out of here on Saturday. And see, I'm just putting this on here just to kind of spruce it up a little. And this was cut at 10 inches. I just am worried about the economic impact this is all going to have on everybody. It's pretty scary. <sighs> now with a pancake style, you only need um, 16 ties as opposed to um, your normal 18. 10 on the bottom, 6 on the top. Yes. And like everybody's been stressing on their lives, please watch out for your elderly neighbors. Make sure they have what they need. Stay in touch with them. That's who is going to suffer through all this. Not to mention the people that don't have a job right now. Okay, so cross over. Tangled here. There we go. And then fluff up and like that. Turn it up. not too much here it's pretty much everywhere I can understand why they're doing it but it is so scary Hi, Nanny Dot. Hello, Debbie. Tell us what it's like in your neck of the woods. You know what's scary? We have a new grandson. I mean, this is just scary, scary. Hi, Missy. We'll have a surprise later. I made some more signs and I'm going to give you a surprise sale. Whoop, whoop. Did you get your room clean, miss? <laughs> Thank you, Esther. I appreciate that for sprinkling the love. If y'all wouldn't mind doing the same, I'd really appreciate it. Oh, I just love these colors. Purple is one of my favorite colors. Okay, everybody, say hi to my little granddaughter, Noelle. She's on. Hey, sweet pea. And if y'all wouldn't mind wishing her a happy birthday, because tomorrow's her birthday. Happy birthday, Noelle. My mom loves you. We're doing a unicorn, sweetie. It says, follow your dreams. 
How's my girl doing? She's got no school, so she has to stay home. Esther wished you a happy birthday, Noelle. And look what my mom made for your room. This is what I'm going to send to you. Are you ready? You got your own room sign, baby girl. How's that? My mom's going to put some real fancy ribbon in here for it to hang on, you know, on your wall or on your door. Look at that. Sandy said happy birthday. Tammy said happy birthday. Ellen said happy birthday. Are you making a cake for tomorrow? We can't go see her and it's killing me. Right? Are Alex and Eve watching with you? They are the twins. I did my apron, Cindy. I make aprons and logos and signs. has no school. My mom can't go to see her or be there for her birthday. And I thought it'd be nice if we could all wish her a happy birthday on here. Look at that. Everybody's wishing you a happy birthday, honey. Gonna decorate it. Awesome. What are you putting on it? Are you gonna put a unicorn? Noel loves purple too. Get all the sparklies on it. Yep, I've been doing everybody, Cindy. I keep posting them on. I did pin to the top here my new Facebook page called Robin's Wreath Signs and More. And if you go on there and just send me a private message, I can tell you what it will cost for a logo. And I've been posting on that site all the logos that I've been making for everybody. Okay, we're almost done with the bottom row. And this is a pancake style wreath, so we've only got 10 on the bottom and 6 on the top. Hi, Patty. Hugs to my little Paul babies. And if you wouldn't mind wishing my granddaughter a happy birthday, she's on here watching. It's her birthday tomorrow. My mom can't go see her. And that's not fair. Hopefully this will all be over soon. Okay, then the second row, we're going to use this. And this has got blue and pink and silver in it. I was going to do the whole wreath in this, but this is not as stiff as the um, purple so I really wanted it to have a good base so I used the purple but if you don't mind spreading the love I'd really appreciate it and I have a new I have two new pages Robin's Yorkie Nest and Robin's Wreath Signs and More 
So don't forget to go like those pages. And at the end tonight, I'm going to show you some of the new signs that I've made and we're putting them on sale. Look out, miss. More signs. <laughs> and Debbie said happy birthday to Noel. Oh, hi, Peaches. Hi, Grayson. They're my little Paul babies. Miss Yellow got a home today, I think. And we have Miss Peach and Miss Pink left. And three boys. Everybody comes for Miss Peach. And she's so pretty. And so well behaved. And then another one catches their eye. So I don't know. She may have to stay. <laughs> right. I'll get killed. Noel has to stay home from school. Are the babies staying home from school too, the twins? Oh my gosh, look how that sparkles. And then it shows through the snowball mesh. <gasps> it looks so pretty. So how's everybody faring? You stocked up on toilet paper? <laughs> This is unbelievable. We don't need cleaning supplies, do we, Patty? We've got Norwex. We just use water. Because the claws have silver in them. So it kills the bacteria and the germs. Thank you, Cindy. I, I like this on here. It's just giving it that little sprinkle. Yep. Okay, miss. You can send me a message. Or you can ask them on here. A bunch of my puppy parents are on here. They'd be more than happy to answer any questions you have. Everybody's coming back for seconds and thirds and fourths. <laughs> Placed a big dog food order today because I don't want anybody to be stuck without dog food if I have to shut down. So... I made them pre-order today because I'm just so afraid and I just hope the whole order comes in because that puppy food's been flying off the shelf with all the puppies that went out this weekend Noelle what kind of cake did you make? Probably has mommy typing for her, so. I know, right? We are lifting them off, aren't we, Patty? I can't even walk down the cleaning aisle anymore in the store. I automatically start choking from this, the fragrances. So I had to go with Norwex. Besides, I didn't want any of that stuff around my puppies. Those Swiffers are a killer. Right? Oh, 
Okay. That's fine, Missy. Okay, one more here. Vanilla and vanilla frosting, lots of sprinkles. Yum. Are you going to save me a piece? <laughs> it's like, my mom. Now we'll just wait till we come down or you come up and we'll make another one. How's that? Okay. Now I'm going to put this, I think, smack in the middle because I made myself a unicorn horn and that is going to go up the top here and then I have two ears that we're going to glue to it from the side and instead of putting um, the ear thing in there, I'm going to put a flower in the ear. Wish I had another one of these purple ones. I thought I did. Doesn't look like I do. So, we're going to put a pink in there. Get another one. All right. So, what I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue here, and I'm going to pinch it together like that. And then I'm going to glue the flower in the ear like that and put it on the side of the unicorn horn. And I think I'm gonna put a, a pin in there to hold it. Of course, they all got red tips on them. How's that look, Noelle? This is just a styrofoam cone that I made a cover for. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here, and then I'm going to attach it to the side here, and put a pin in it to hold it in place. And then I'm going to put a little dab of glue on the bottom of the flower. Hi Sue! How's my girls? My granddaughter, Noelle, is watching. Wish her a happy birthday. Tomorrow's her birthday. We won't be able to go see her. Sue, are you at home or are you down in, down with the kids? Okay, another pin. glue on the side. Now this is one of my new signs, the follow your dreams, the unicorn sign. And then I showed Noelle the room sign I made her. Hi Nanny Dot. I have all children's signs now for their rooms. Whatever they're into, I can make a sign and personalize it. There we go. Put a little glue on our daisy. 
put our daisy down in the middle of the ear. There. There's our unicorn horn. So let's go ahead and put our sign on. And then we will figure out a way to fasten our unicorn horn. I may have to give this to a special little girl for her room. Every little girl needs a unicorn wreath in her room. Don't you, Noel? Let's get rid of some of this stuff that's sticking. I think that's what we have to do. This is her birthday surprise. How about that, Noel? Follow your dreams, baby girl. Boy, I got this so tucked over. Can't see my way through. <laughs> There we go. Okay. We'll make a nice wall hanging. What do you think, Noel? All right. Now, I think what we'll do. We need two more flowers. Maybe we go with one more of these but I'm not seeing it let's see nope. let me see if I have one more every color but what I want. <laughs> oh, Alright, I'm going to use these because these will complement that and complement this. Okay, we got it. Aw, thank you, honey. Just for you, baby girl. You know my mom takes care of her little girl. fix it so you can put it in your room. How's that? A special birthday surprise. Since my mom can't be there. Put these. Let's cut this off a little. Next to it. But tell everybody what my mom does. Tell them we're not done. We gotta jack it up. Right? Noelle loves when I say I gotta jack it up. And I don't know where Levon is, but that's Levon's favorite thing when we jack it up. Okay, there. 
Now, if this looks a little too big, we're just going to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Let's round it. The ears are made out of um, felt, and they have they have glitter on them right in the felt, and the felt is very solid. I mean, it's stiff. That's the word I was looking for. There, that looks better. Now it doesn't look like that unicorn has huge ears. All right, now this is going to be the task, which I think... I think I'm going to cut off some of the wood because we don't need all that wood. Whoa, shooting it at you. All right, and then we're going to put it right here. Okay, and I'm going to glue it and tie it with my tinsel tie right here. That way we know it'll stay secure. We don't want it falling off in the middle of the night and scaring my little girl, my mom's first grandchild, right? No, we don't want to do that. All right, so we're just going to put it down in there. There we go. We'll tuck this down in there. How's that look so far? Y'all see it okay? I think we have to move it down just a tiny bit before the glue is totally dry. There. I twist it a bunch. All right, honey. I love you. Thank you for stopping. And my mom will talk to you tomorrow and wish you a happy birthday, okay? And mommy can show you in the morning your wreath. All right? Happy birthday, sweetie. All right, we're not done jacking it up. So, I thought this would be a nice possible contrast to put back here. These are from Christmas. I think these were from Joanne's. So we've got those, all right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a bow here and we'll see if we wanna add a couple of these. I'm not sure what I'm doing with that yet. And I also have these too. These are ornaments. These were from Big Lots at Christmas. I thought they would be nice and sparkly in here. I might not put a lot of tails on here either. I haven't quite decided. All right, so let's get to making our bow. Which we want to make it look beautiful for Miss Noel. Since this is her birthday present, one of them. Okay. And I don't know, we could even add some flowers throughout if we wanted to. All right. Y'all know me. I don't like that darn wire. So, let's see here. I think our bow will go right here. Directly, like, lined up with that. All right. And I don't think I need as much tinsel tie as I usually use because I don't have a lot of wreath to go through. So, okay. Um, I have this, and I think I'm going to start with this. 
It has the purple and it has the white. I think we're going to start with this. I don't think I'm changing my mind about that one. I'm not liking that one. I don't know if I'm going to add this. I may go ahead and add this in there too. So, hi Angie. How are you? We're making a, my granddaughter was just on, tomorrow's her birthday, so we're making a unicorn wreath for her birthday. It's a pancake style. We've got ruffles, woodland ruffle, and we've got some snowball mash. Give it a little pizzazz. And now we're going to the bow. And think I think I'm just gonna go with a single the single purple in the middle here hi Jonathan thank you this is one of my new signs, follow your dreams. This is going to be one of my granddaughter's birthday presents. She was just on. We can't, we can't go be with her this weekend. So her party was canceled because of everything that's going on. So I'm gonna gonna go with this one next okay. I gotta get this darn table cleaned up okay now how many do I have left five all right and I think I'm just gonna go with one layer of that Oops, wait a minute. Let's dovetail and stick that up there. It's not in our way. There we go. If you wouldn't mind spreading the love, I'd really appreciate it. Right. And then our next layer, which will you know me, I don't like that wire, so I use tinsel tie. And thank you all for wishing my granddaughter a happy birthday when she popped on. It's a shame because they're the ones that are missing out on things like their birthday because of this darn craziness. Then let's go with let's go with this one next. Okay. We've got yeah. Yep, we're going with this one next. Don't worry, Missy, I'll put your solid on the end. <laughs> I promise. Yeah. And see, I just, I don't wrap it around here, wrap it around there. I just do a twist push and twist and leave it up there for the next we got to add some bling to this let's jacking it up for Noel now I think we'll go with this one next we are getting the bling in here And 
I want you all to check on, as Susan was talking about on Saturday, check on your elderly neighbors, friends, make sure they have everything they need. For more bling, we're going to add this. I don't even know where half this ribbon came from. But you know little girls, they like their bling. So we're blinging that thing, pushing again against the boyfriend peg, and then just twisting. See how easy that is? And just know, then we'll get through this. This world is crazy now, but we will we will come out the other end and we will get through it. Now let's see what this will look like next. I'll throw it in there. She loves her color. We put the bow on, we'll do a few ties or a few balls, and then I will show you a surprise. Well, this was part of the surprise. I'm just so grateful that my granddaughter was able to pop on and see what I'm making her, since I can't be there for her birthday. All right, now we go with the solid, the last, last row. Putting this in here for Missy. Uh, LaFon, you missed Noelle. Tomorrow's her birthday. She was on. I told her we're jacking it up. Hi, Rachel. How are you? Yeah, it'll work. What the heck? It's for a little girl. This is her, these are her favorite colors. She's going to love it. I know that she's probably not going to be able to sleep tonight until she looks at it in the morning. Oh no. Okay, we're missing a peg. There we go. All right, get out our fluff box. Fluff this baby, get it on there, and then jack it up some more. All right. This is one of my new signs, Follow Your Dreams. I shared with her, my granddaughter, her birthday sign that I made her. So she was happy to see that. Oh. And y'all watched me when I did the flamingo one the other night. We now have the flamingo with flip-flops in oval form. Okay. So 
So let's see here. Sometimes you get it too tight on there, but don't get it tight enough on the fluff box. There we go. These are all her favorite colors. So I hope I get a call in the morning. If not, they gave us an Alexa for Christmas. So we'll get on Alexa and wish her a happy birthday and show her the wreath when it's done. Great. Our next layer is this one here with all the colors in it. Sparkle. Hey Dawn, how are ya? Thank you dear, appreciate it. I'm making a unicorn wreath for my granddaughter. It's her birthday tomorrow. She just popped on and I let her know this is coming her way since we are not allowed to go there. She understands, but it's still her birthday. It stinks when you have to cancel your birthday. to cancel their birthday. I just thought tonight, boy, I bet you there's some girls that they're going to have to cancel their weddings. Like, how do you do that? You got all this money put out for receptions and well, that's just horrible. Keep our fingers crossed, Rachel. All right. I think we got every one of her favorite colors in there. She's gonna love this. And sparkle. She's gonna love the sparkle. All right, let's get it on the wreath. Thank you, dear. Yeah, because we got new signs to show you. And we're putting them on sale. Whoop, whoop. Let's see how we can get this going on here. Lots of colors in this wreath. I mean, in this wreath sign, you got blues, you got peach, you got pink, you got purple. These woodland ruffles are tied so tight. There we go. Come on, get in there. I 
don't know why I use the fluff box because I end up having to re-fluff it anyhow when I put it back on the wreath. Waste of time. Oh my gosh, this is going to sparkle all over her room. She's going to love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, we've got the wreath on there. We've got the unicorn horn on there. So, let's see. No, we're not going to do that. But, let's see here. I am going to just put some bows. I'm not going to do your ordinary tails. Because... This is for my granddaughter, and I want it to be unique and as special as she is. So, we're going to put some bows. How about that? Just gonna jack it up. Right, Levon? Okay. Now, let me see. I just wanna do glitter, glitter, glitter. Wow, cool for you, Missy. know how it goes. I think I'll do a bow every other and then we'll see if we can position those sparkly balls in the other ones. We're just going to do glitter, glitter, glitter. And I don't know, I may change that bow tomorrow. Get that out of there. All right, where did my balls go? in between we're gonna do a ball a glitter ball nah 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 ooh ooh ooh, ooh. I know. Better get to class. Thank you for stopping in, Sue. Did you all see the awesome job she did with my gnome on Saturday? Woo! She did me so proud. Okay, I'm liking that. All right, so let's go around here 
and let's put that bow over here. If I have enough of this. Boy, it's going to be glitter bill down here for a while. Yeah, I'm going to end up taking this bow apart. It needs to be just glitter. So I will take it apart tomorrow and show you what it looks like. We just need to have it pop. She loves glitter. Bow there. Then I'm going to put one of these here. Or take off the tag. I know, right? Bye, sweetie. Thanks, Esther. We're popping on. Have fun in class. Miss you. Okay, then we'll put a pink one here, and then we'll put the last one here. Yes. And then tomorrow we're redoing the bow. I know, right? She is. She's such a she's such a sweetheart. We're not allowed any people down there, so I had to cancel her birthday, and it's breaking my heart. went the wrong way. So bows and glitter and a unicorn horn. Say that real fast. Oh, puppies are at it. Here we go again. Yeah, I'm going to take this layer off. I don't think I'm going to add the balls. I think I'm good. I'm just going to take this bow apart and get rid of the non-glitter. So that's what it'll look like. And then, like I said, I'll redo the bow. What do you think? I'll take this out and this out. We'll just do strictly glitter, all glitter. Yeah, this one, this one, this one. And see with that tinsel tie, it's real easy to take out. Oh, she's gonna flip. He's just going to love it. Okay. Let's get to the special. Okay. I don't know if Jill's watching. Jill just ordered this license plate for the front of her Jeep. So, Jill, I'll be invoicing you for that tomorrow. She wanted Life is Good. So, hi, Lillian. 
All right. Now, y'all know the little signs I made. Because you watched me. We made little gift baskets, and they replace your card. You can sign the back of it. You can put a little magnet on it for the fridge. Okay? Well, I came up with more. I mean, we have follow the sun, seek your seek beautiful things. All right? Chocolate is the key to happiness. All right? Now, all these signs are usually $4 each. I'm going to do three for 10 plus shipping. All right. These, you have your garden, you have birthdays coming up. You can make the cutest little um, arrangements and put this on and sign the back. And, and if you want, put a magnet on them, put the magnet on the fridge when they're done or their flowers die or whatever. All right. So we've got chocolate is the key to happiness. You saw me do the one with like the margarita cup. It's, this one says happy birthday. Okay. Then we have welcome baby in pink or welcome baby in blue. I made the cutest little arrangement for my daughter-in-law and took it to the hospital and it's still I mean, it was fake flowers, so it's sitting up on the mantle. And then I told her, I said, when you don't want it, we can take the flowers out and you can just stick that on the fridge. Then, I'm sorry, life is better with a Yorkie. Is that not adorable? Now, if you have another dog, I can probably, you know, if you don't, not into Yorkies, I'm sure we can make something up, but these are the ones that are gonna be three for $10. Just a girl who loves her Yorkies. Sorry, that's my favorite. <laughs> and then we had Be Kind. I had a customer request it in small. Something we all need to think about right now. Just, we can weather this out. We can stick it out. We just have to weather the storm and be kind. And then this one went on this basket. And the first person I know that's got the virus or is sick with the flu, this is going on their doorstep. And it says, get well. So you've got all the little signs get well, be kind, just a girl who loves her Yorkies, life is better with a Yorkie, welcome baby, welcome baby, happy birthday, chocolate is the key to happiness, seek beautiful things and follow the sun. All you have to do is sign the back of them with this one here. I put a magnet and then when I glued the magnet to the sign, I just added a little ribbon. So then you can tie the ribbon onto your bow, whatever you have it hanging from and just sign the back. It's your card. Okay. So I will take pictures of all these and post them on robin's wreath signs and more i pinned it to the top these are all three for ten and then like i said here's my new flamingo sign whatever floats your flamingo in oval we'll have more in oval i'm working on a cardinal one right now and a butterfly one so they're coming up um, you all saw my, we can do personalized plates. We can do children's personalized room signs. This is really popular now with the little girls. This is for Alex. He loves construction vehicles. This is my new grandson that's going to be born in June. His room is all mountains. 
This is my other granddaughter, Eve. And that was a mistake. Uh, and this is Gordon's room. See, you just loop your, you just glue this, bring it up through, and then run it down, run it through the back and up the top. I have to shorten this. But this is my new grandson, Gordon. And then we also have license plates. Horses leave hoof prints on your heart. I have a couple of daisy ones. This one says life is good. Your name could be put in there or whatever. And, uh, and then Noelle. This is her birthday wreath. When I finish the bow, I'm going to take it apart. And then uh, this is gone in her room also. Okay, so that was it. If you decide you want the little signs, get in touch with me through private message. Because if you put it in the comments here, um, Facebook will kick it out. You won't, I won't get to see it. And then you send me your PayPal address and your zip code and I invoice you. Once it's paid, it ships. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Is there anything you want to see on a sign? I'm thinking about doing a contest. And uh, the one sign request that gets the most likes I'm going to give away that sign to you. So start thinking of some ideas of what you'd like to see on a sign and uh, we'll hold a contest. How's that sound? I, didn't, I don't think I need these balls. Like I don't I think that's too much, but I am going to take this apart. And then as you can see, I have my gnomes up here with the signs. This is one of my newest signs, makes me want to take a back road. And then over here, be kind. Anybody have any questions? Anything you want to see coming up? I'm still waiting on my bike, rim, tire, whatever. So that hasn't come in yet. Hold it up again. This was made out of a styrofoam cone. We added some ears with some flowers. I think I'm going to just take all the non glitter um, bow out of here. And you know what? There's another one here. I can add this in there. I think that would look pretty too. So I'm taking out all the non-glitter. Aw, things. I'm going to do it right now. The way my day goes, I can't get anything done. My husband is off work because there's no school, so there's no buses. Wow, is it Glitterville here? All right. I'm taking that off. 
See, and with this, look how easy it is to take it apart. I don't like those other two. So we're going to go one layer at a time. It's probably going to be a bad idea, but it is what it is. So, what other glitter do I have? I know I had thinner glitter. Just add this one. Let's put that in place of that. So I'm going to cut it the same as this. And then go backwards. So we're going to make this the middle. Tony or Tanya, you can buy your images. Okay, so we got that to replace that one. Now, I need something to replace this. So, green in there. We could add a little green. Yeah. We can add this green. Because we've got green in the other. So. This is how to take apart a bow. There's a lot of group, great groups out there too, Tanya, on how to, for sublimation. All right, so we've got the first and we've got the second layer. So this was the third layer. the fourth layer and we have the fifth layer so while I have that much in hand I'm gonna twist it so I can regroup here all right and I'm gonna add this one as the blue Whoa, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, she's gonna love this. So I'm just trying to follow what I have here. So, look at that. This is gonna turn out awesome. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to have some glittery puppies when I go upstairs. <laughs> They're going to be full of glitter. Because it's going to be all over me. And you know I'm going to be loving on them, so then it's going to be all over them. Alright. So we got that. So now we have to just replace the pink. So... Um another blue. 
that's all glitter. Yep. There we go. Let's get this out of the way. There we go. Oops. Glitter signs that come with glitter now for free. <laughs> All right. And then let's pull this up. See, that way we have the same length as the other one. And you guys will visually get to see it the way I wanted it in the first place. Okay. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it so I know how big my loops are going to be. So when I put it back on the bow, it'll look all right. All right. We got all the colors in glitter now. Oh my gosh, she is going to love it. All right, I'm gonna dovetail some of these. Somebody came to look at the puppies today and they looked at Miss Peach. They came to look at Miss Peach and they ended up getting Miss Yellow. And Miss Peach just sits there and looks so sad because she keeps getting passed over and there's nothing wrong with her. She's beautiful. And I keep telling her, I said, that's okay. The right person just hasn't come along yet. You just stay with Mama Robin until it's time. What a doll baby. And she loves to give kisses. Her personality is amazing. And it's breaking my heart because she sees everybody leaving and she's still here. And she, we thought she was the first one that was going to go. I think I need to add glitter to the unicorn horn next. Thank you all for hanging on and waiting until I fix this. It's appreciated. I may jack it up a little. A little more, but I think I'm good for tonight. Okay. Whoop, a dovetail got that one. I think I used every glitter ribbon I have. next. This pink. Actually, I like the way the hand bow turned out better. It suits it better. Just a little bit. There we go. Oh my gosh. This is so adorable. Sorry. I'm not like obsessing with my work. It's just, I know this is just gonna, she's just gonna love this.
I mean, it's horrible. She can't have her birthday. Oh, much better. What do y'all think of it now? I think it needs still little tails up there. But what do you think of that? She's gonna love it. Yeah, like I think just some narrow tails. Like maybe if I do a green, a white, a green, a white, a green, a white. Just little ones. Just to give it some pop. Yeah, she she is. Oh my gosh, this is so her. I bought her some unicorn sheets too. And this I'm just going to do a simple tail. Like just a little like that with that like that. Just like an awareness ribbon. Just to give it a little pop to pull those colors out of the bow. Just like that. Just simple. Not over overbearing. Just simple. You don't always have to put tails in a wreath. You can do bows, you can do anything. Make it unique. And you know what, that's kind of, well there we go. I'll just put it closer to the blue. There. Alright, so then we need another white one up here. You know what she's gonna say to me? She's gonna say, you jacked it up. Cause she learned that when she was here and Yvonne, Levon and I were talking about jacking it up. And she says, make sure you say you're gonna jack it up. She loved that. I don't know why. She just thought it was, it was so cute. There. Green one over there. Oh my gosh. This is going to be one of a kind. And like I said, she's just going to love it. I've got my thing and my triangle. So I'm good. I've got my, my sign. see these up here I'll stretch them out like this way and then I'll put a white one here yeah I wish I had some pink, some glitter pink in a one and a half inch. Could fold that over. I'm looking because I got glitter over there too, but I'm liking this. Just enough to give it some pop. I think I'm done messing with it. Yeah. Okay. And then I think I will add glitter to the horn. 
And then what do you think? I think it's great, just the way it is now. Like I said, I wish I had dinner ribbon just to give that a little punch because I think this is too dull. I could just use regular silver. I have some of that upstairs. It needs, it needs pink right there. And I don't have any glitter pink except this two and a half inch. But could fold it. Let's see what it looks like folded. We can fold it. What the heck? I think I will fold the blue over too. Let's see, blue, green, pink, blue, no wait, blue, green, pink, blue, and then green. this white it's just washing it out hey Tina my girlfriend Tina Tina oh look wait a minute just the girl who loves Yorkies and life is better with a Yorkie <laughs> Tina's my breeder from Texas. Texas Star Yorkies. See my girlfriend. She takes care of me. I take care of her. She's there when I need her. I'm here when she needs me. This is a wreath for my granddaughter. She loves glitter and unicorns. So we are jacking it up. It's her birthday tomorrow, and everybody was wishing her a happy birthday. And she couldn't be on because she had to go to bed. But I feel horrible. I can't. I can't go see her on her birthday. So I surprised her told her mom to get her to come on so she could see the wreath I was making for her and I told her this is for your birthday so she is pumped up that she's getting this for her birthday plus her 
Our new room sign I made her. So she was on here. So I think I need to glitter the unicorn horn and the flowers around it. And then we're good. Then she has way more glitter than she thought she was going to get. Got to take care of those grandbabies. They're our future. Okay. We's done. I promise. All right, there we go. What do you think? I'll put some glitter up here, glitter on the, on the, um, and see this pancake style. So if you put this between your door, it would be okay to put it between your screen door and your house door. It's that thin. So this will look nice on her wall. I'm getting her some, um, unicorn sheets. She loves unicorns. So there we go. We're all done. Glitter, glitter, glitter. She's going to love it. So what do you think? You guys love it? Hey, Sue. Sue, Tina's on. Tina, Sue's on. She's got precious. That's where precious lives now with Sue and Bunner. I'm just going to put this up here. It just looked a little blah. Boy, those little ones are getting in all kinds of stuff up there. I can hear them. All right, guys, we're done. Here we go. She is going to freak. First thing she's going to say, you jacked it up, my mom. Did you guys leave me? You still there? Oh, Sue, look. Can you see it? They're my newest little magnet signs. Aren't they cute? Okay, everybody's falling asleep on me. I put everybody to sleep. Great. Life is better with a Yorkie and just a girl who loves Yorkies. Aren't they cute? All right, guys. I'm headed upstairs. I'm sure I got plenty of poop to pick up. And I put in a special order for dog food today. It'll all be in by Friday. Actually, it's supposed to be here on Wednesday, but... I will be in and out, so I'm praying that they don't close the hairdressers because I am in desperate need of a cut. So, oh, thanks, Angie. Yeah, I, th I think she's going to love it. She's just going to be over the moon that she has one of my mom's wreaths in her room. She loves unicorns and glitter and I think we we accomplished all that it just I I now need glitter on this unless I I could just recover it I tried using ribbon on this and I could not get it to lay flat it just looked disgusting so that's why I made a cover for it today so, 
I'll figure something out. I'll get it worked out. But she is going to love it. She just may not see it until April. Unless we can get out. Because who knows what they're going to shut down next. So... should just stand here and rub glitter off of the ribbon. <laughs> it's all flaking on it anyhow. So yeah. All right, guys, you have a great evening. Thanks for stopping. Thanks for sharing. I'll post all the little signs for, that are for sale for tomorrow. And uh, let me know if you have any ideas for a sign. All right. All right. Y'all have a great night. And thank you. Some of y'all be talking to real soon. Okay. All right. Good night.